Okay, I've got my Zero Pure Max Plus system out here, and I just want to show you how to check your RO rating. Let's say you're getting a higher number out of your DI or something like that, and you want to test your RO. So in here are the RO membranes, stands for reverse osmosis. This is what removes about 90 to 95% of your um, total dissolvable solids. And this is going to produce, when you have two of these, about a gallon per minute with average water pressure being at about 50 PSI. So first, what you want to do head over to your water source and you're going to get a baseline TDS so my water is very good I have a TDS of 48 hopefully you can see that then you're gonna hook up your hose to your system And what we want to see from the RO is that it's removing 90 to 95% of the TDS. If you start getting down to that 80, 70, 60 range, then you want to change out your ROs. Now at 48, I pretty much expect to see about four to two TDS out of my RO. So very, very low. With that TDS and an RO system, you're really not going to be changing uh, resin often. Pre-filters, looking at changing these out about every six to 12 weeks. If you're in an area like me, with really good water quality, you might be looking at replacing these about like every three to five months. So you let the system build pressure. This is very, very common to have some air sputtering out of it. Just let it build. And also too, you know, something you can do like I've done here, if you're in a high TDS area and you're setting up your system at a job, unplug this and let it run for a little bit. Or if you have some of the new plus systems, um, you can go ahead and flip the lever and run RO only, let some of that high TDS water. So especially if you're at 200 or higher, that's gonna save you on resin because your TDS number here is always gonna be higher. So once again, I'm gonna flush that cap a couple times. I got a PPM of nine. I bet that's gonna come down a little bit. Seven. Sometimes you can't see this on the GoPro. Six, so you see how the actual TDS is going down here by just letting the system run for a bit. So we're at six. I've had these ROs now for about two years. On average, in really hard water areas, don't be surprised if you replace your ROs every year, every year and a half, five. So now we're pretty much down to the 90%. So our ROs are working great. We're at four, so perfect, we're at 90%. This is how you test your RO. Uh, you don't need to go through your DI. And so your pre-filters are never gonna really remove any total dissolvable solids. It's always actually gonna be your RO and your DI. But that is how you test your RO. Um, the other thing that can happen with ROs is that you could get a high PPM, but if you're finding no matter what, if you attach a pump, no matter what the pressure is the source, and you're not getting any water output, that means that your ROs are most likely clogged and fouled. Um, you know, ROs really work best at above about 45 PSI. From there, you'll pretty much get okay flow to good flow to really great flow. Um, but if you're lower than that, that is typically the biggest reason why a system won't put out much water. But that is it, how you check your TDS. Make sure to get one of these TDS meters. They come with all zero systems as well. Very simple video, but it does come up. And now, see, we're all the way down to 3 ppm, so it's removing a lot. But if you have any questions about TDS, let me know. Have a good day. Bye-bye.